Hi Scorpio, welcome to my channel Scorpio. I hope you are doing well. I hope you're fine and safe and doing good Scorpio. This reading for today, this is for you. Let us see what is happening towards you Scorpio. What is the guided message for the Scorpio sign please? I am doing this reading and we are already, we have entered the Leo season and i feel like it's very vibrant for you scorpio you have an advantage because you have a martian energy so let's see what's coming towards you guys what is the message for scorpio in love career money and general situationship i have so much message to deliver scorpio but i don't have i don't have the time <clears throat> I don't have the physical energy to do it. Spiritually, I have so much to deliver. What can I get for my Scorpio family? What is the guided message that is meant for you to know, Scorpio? What can I get for the Scorpio sign? This is my sunshine. This is... Mm -hmm. Let me just check the camera. It's a beautiful... Oh, you have the High Priestess. What is the message for the Scorpio sign, please? Thank you guys for your support. Thank you guys for being here. What is the message for the Scorpio sign? I'm getting a lot of health. Okay, Scorpio. I think the lower part of your body, it's, you know, the Ten of Swords, like tired. Like you need to sleep. Okay, all right. Let me just pull this together and then we'll start your reading okay Scorpio let us start your reading so so you're starting the reading with a six of Pentacles this is like a stalemate energy I feel like the first part of the reading you know the six of Pentacles in here this is a situation in the past or recently okay um, you're here the high priestess you're manifesting that this six of pentacles it would improve if you look at the six of pentacles both of them look at the two this is okay both of them like each other but they're not saying it but you feel it you you felt it scorpio that this person likes you you want something from them whatever you want from them they want it too but none of you guys are willing to verbalize it it's like uh, you guys are mirroring each other so there was a stalemate energy like you guys are so into each other you guys are willing to take a risk into each other you're willing to go but you guys like someone needs to activate it you know like it that's why it went to a stalemate like this six of pentacles in here this is a situation in the past where it's a stalemate it's it's a very strong stalemate it, it doesn't want to end and it's wanting to proceed with the next step but someone needs to activate the message someone needs to invite someone needs to initiate it you could be dealing with a capricorn a taurus a virgo this could also be like um it could be a combination of friendship romantic relationship it could also be like a business okay it's more of like i like working with you we like working with like you like each other both energies like each other but none of you would like to initiate saying it okay so there's a mirroring i don't think it's playing cupid or playing hard to get it's more of like it feels like this person and yourself is wanting to be more comfortable with the feeling okay because the high priest is in here you're manifesting them and they're definitely manifesting you i don't think you're playing hard to get i don't think they're playing hard to get it's more of let's just understand why we like each other we want it we want to work together but we don't feel taking an action towards what we want for each other okay so it's like let's feel Let's feel it, okay? The Six of Pentacles in here. Because they want to call you, they want to text you, they want to hire you, they want to talk about compromise, they want to talk about the travel, but they're not ready to do it in the 
um, they want to feel it. You know, they want to feel. Like they want to soak into that feeling and make it stable and solidify it and then off you go. Because the connecting energy between you and this person is a knight of wands. You can expect something out of the blue is going to happen with this with a stalemate. It's a stalemate. It's a stalemate because it's not time to spark. Because the knight of wands is a jump. You know, like you jump, I jump, kind of thing. With 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 the night of the night of inspiration or the night of wants. Look at that, it's blazing fire. It's like a trailblazer. So, I don't want you to give up. There's a good feeling. There's a good feeling that there's something. F this is you, Scorpio. Okay, this is you. You have this good feeling, good instinct about a stalemate situation, about a situation where you haven't heard from them. Maybe you are still connected, but they're not giving you the full update. Both of you needs, like both of you needs time to understand what you feel, why you feel this way, and it's gonna cook, it's gonna bake. Okay, I don't know. I don't fear it, like psychically, because tarot cards can represent messages, but there's also like a psychic feeling, you know, if you are a reader. So it it looks like a stalemate, but it. I don't fear the stalemate. In fact, I want it to be a stalemate until they figure it out and until you figure it out because none of you would like to give up in this situation, Scorpio. None. You don't want to give up. They don't want to give up. No one would like to give up. Yeah, could be a Virgo. They're thinking because they want the best. Someone is thinking. Let's look at this person's energy. Eight of Swords. Three of Swords. See the Queen of Wands. Told you guys. Like if I x-ray vision the person that you're dealing with, the situation that you're dealing with recently or in the past that you're still interested, I wouldn't be able to pick up this past energy if you're not interested or they're not interested with you. My reading is all about it's either you're interested with them or they're interested with you work family friendship you know and on top of that there's still some other stuff like destiny or spiritual path that you know so this one looking into the energy of this person or situation it's a stalemate because they're thinking wow hi they want to put you in a 10 someone is not saying anything and thinking and feeling and planning because they want a 10 for you they want to experience a 10 like this person is cautious because it's a 6 and they want a 10 okay so, so, so you were right you were right to manifest like I could feel with the high priestess because if you look at the high priestess the hands is like this look at that it's like okay take your time because I want a 10 too you know, it's like, um, take your time, soak with a feeling, with a vibe, because I want the best of you and me. Look at that. It's like, if you're going to come forward, I want a 10. I don't want a 6. Come back to me if you're a 10. And this person is thinking because they want the 10 too. They want to offer you the best. They don't want to come back if it's less than 10. Eight of Swords. They don't want to hurt you. And they don't want to be hurt. So, this situation, this person, you will have a chance with them. They want a 10 because they can offer a 10. It's like, I will come back to you, Scorpio. I will come back to you, Scorpio. I want to check in if you can give me a 10. Because I want to offer you a 10. If you cannot give me a 10, then we're just going to hurt. We're, we're just going to hurt each other. So someone is thinking that if I come back to you and you'll be able to match what I want, we proceed. If not, if you will give me less of what I want and if I will just give you less of what you want or if I will not be able to exceed or match your expectation, we're going to go through a three of swords. We're just going to hurt each other and I don't want that to happen. I'll just set you free. So someone out there 
is manifesting you and wants a 10. If, if it's a job, they want you to offer the best. But if their best is not what you want, they're going to look into it because you're the queen of wands. Whoever, okay, whoever this person is, whether it's a friend or work or lover, they know that you might demand or they know that you deserve a 10 or more than a 10 because you're the queen of wands so they basically know that you're a big time or they know that I should offer you the best Scorpio because you're the queen of wands I shouldn't offer you less and I don't want to offer you less but their fear is that if they offer you the 10 you might want more or if they offer you the 10 you might not they might not be able to give the 10 okay so someone is thinking and feeling this is a reading where if they come back would you be able to match them would you be able to work thing out work things out because this person is willing to take a risk someone is willing to take a risk if you will take a risk Scorpio you're worth taking a risk Scorpio you're a queen of wands in fact this person or situation because you're the queen of wands they know that you're special they know that you're valuable so they want to match you if they don't have a 10 they would like to prepare themselves to have a 10 because you're special you're the queen of wands so if this is a job we should find a way to give you the 10 because you're you're very experienced if this is a friend i don't want you scorpio to go less I want you to keep yourself as a queen of wands so I'm gonna find a way to match you if this is a lover oh Scorpio you are more than perfect to me so I'm gonna find a way to match you if they don't have the 10 they'll find a way to give you the 10 okay so somewhere out there there's a person there's a situation who would like to be with you and preparing themselves to be with you or to offer you something and the way they're offering it to you it's a 10 and it wouldn't be less than a 10 because they know that you're special and if they're if they don't have enough 10 they'll find a way again because you are the queen of wands but they also would like you to match what they're offering okay someone is going to return someone you're manifesting friendship love job your quality Scorpio they want the best of you they want they want to offer you the best because they know that they're gonna they're gonna get the best from you okay they're gonna ask you Scorpio are you willing to do this with me are you willing to if you're willing to work this way we're gonna give you the 10 this is this is not just a compromise this is working in your terms but they want to make sure that you will deliver Scorpio so once this situation or person connects with you you have to respond and reply and show them that the Queen of Wands is willing to be with them Scorpio your respond is needed if you want to work things out because if they come back they have a 10 Scorpio I hope it's making sense Scorpio okay all right now let's see in terms of current energies okay ten of swords like what i said guys for some of you um it looks like for some of you i'm kind of picking up that um you have to listen to the cues of your body like the ten of, if you look at the ten of swords you know she it looks like a this person it looks like she went to a party last night and she went straight to bed and sleep without even removing her party clothes <laughs> so Scorpio and this is like a ten of wands and this is a look at that ten of swords ten of wands okay and your higher self and the universe is encourage you to look into the way you work the way you the something that is exhausting okay it's a combination of your working and partying like Scorpio I know like, ten of wands I'm so inspired to work and then on top of that you're also into social social limelight so for some of you 
um you know we enter the leo season so it could be the time for you to be famous or something is gonna let's say busy at work and partying busy at work and socializing so the universe is encouraging you scorpio listen to your body your body your mind your like your body your mind your spirit is sending you um like it's sending you cues okay um and it's if it's if you're feeling like you're if you're feeling you if, if if you feel like your stress is like if you feel like stress is coming over you rest this is like this is the sign that your body wants you to slow down okay there, there's something in here that if you feel like you're working 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 and on the weekends you would be out and about like you haven't even recuperated from the working overwork and then partying I mean this is good you know I'm uh, sorry because this is working and then ten of wands like I want to go party make sure that you find time to rest okay like you kind of need to activate your sector of health and health is wealth Scorpio remember that okay like there's something about health is the ultimate form of wealth health is the ultimate form of of wealth so if your body is sending you and it's telling you it's, it's giving you cues that you need to slow down slow down secure health and then you party okay you might also feel like um hmm. i'm also fi i'm also getting like you know with the ten of swords you might you might have some because it's eight of wands because this is ten of wands eight of wands slow down scorpio you have five of wands for some of you you don't have to say yes to all of the invitations scorpio in a nutshell in terms of energy checked in you don't have to say yes to all of the invitation because if you say yes to all of the invitation you wouldn't have time to sleep or to eat properly you're just gonna go and take a lot of takeaways so health is well in a nutshell Leo season is going to be amazing. You work hard, you party, but you make sure you give your spirit, your body, your emotional, your psychological a rest, my darling. Yes. Queen of Cups, exactly. Okay? I'm seeing in here if you if you don't take a rest, you will have you will you will buy a lot of takeaways and you will have bad skin for some of you. For some of you if you don't take a rest, you will be less like sleep deprived and then you won't be able to focus with amazing opportunities at work so rest is very important leo season is like rock star okay the leo season is energetic vibrant it's and it's like um it's like met gala of you scorpio but choose wisely who you're going to share your vibrancy you don't have to say yes to all of the invitation because you need to allocate for me time okay your psychological the physical emotional needs and the spiritual needs it's always should be there okay cool all right now what else is coming towards you scorpio mm. oh now i feel like scorpio the seven of cups i feel like this is you too many fish in the sea scorpio from now up until september Jesus Christ, Scorpio, you have so many options. Look at you. You know, guys, for some of you, you look younger than your age, Scorpio. You know, for some of you guys, you look so younger. Like, um, because you've gone through a lot of your shadow work, you look younger. You look so younger than your age, Scorpio. Because of that, you're attracting younger energy. In friendship like you would notice you would notice Scorpio that you have you're gonna attract a lot of younger energy Scorpio a lot of people will be drawn to you but young vibe you know for some of you guys because you're really taking care of yourself spiritual glow up you look so young you look so young someone is gonna make a comment someone is gonna give you a comment a compliment that look Scorpio you look good take it um seven of cups i feel like this is you like what i said sorry 
I don't know where is Leo, sorry, where is Mercury, but my communication skills, sorry, it's, it's stammering, or I don't know, maybe I'm too excited to say something, but you know, it's because Leo season, you will, I feel like this fish in here, invitation, invitation, attraction, friendship, attraction, attraction. So for some of you, just be open. I mean, I'm telling you right now, end of July, going forward, the month of August. A lot of people will make time, will make an effort to reach out or to be with you, Scorpio. Some of them would even spend money to be with you. But you don't know it. For some of you guys, people will travel to see you. For some of you guys, um, they will buy you drinks. They will buy you food. You will be gifted. You will be a superstar. This is you. You will be the favorite of the crowd. Something in the next two to three weeks. Scorpio, Eight of Pentacles. You're going to get a lot of support, a lot of love, a lot of attention. And you're going to get money from people. It means that this person will invite you. You're going to go for dinner. They're going to buy you. Because Ten of Cups, you're so happy because you're getting a lot of support, getting a lot of attraction, and they're all good. All I can say is that the next two to three weeks, the quality of people that would like to spend time, that would like to connect with you, they're all quality. They would like to spend time and would like to spend money, Scorpio. Enjoy it enjoy it none of them are shitty sorry eight of pentacles look at that a lot of the people that would reach out they're gonna spend time they're gonna spend money and they're all quality it's like they will pay for your attention scorpio scorpio enjoy this regal energy you are about to shine and i don't know the ten of cups you're very happy like you know have you ever felt like you went for catch up and this friend of yours you catch up with her or with him and you just get negative energy well all of the people connection that they're all quality they will all contribute to you and i don't know i'm i'm, I'm really getting like they're making an effort to buy you food to buy you coffee to spend time with you to travel just to see you that's how special you are exactly thank you spirit that's just how special you are scorpio so enjoy it thank you guys for supporting the channel okay thank you guys for being here you are my lifeline scorpio thank you i will see you soon you have a great day scorpio bye bye